Hey, what's up everyone? I want to show you a quick video on an update for Teams panel uh, that includes a really cool feature. If you don't know what Teams panel is, it's that scheduling panel that sits out of you, outside of your Microsoft Teams room. I'm going to show you this on a Logitech Tap scheduler, but it'll work with any brand of Teams panel uh, as long as you've got the newest and the latest update. Uh, the update is called Update 3. It should be available in the Teams admin sensor either now or very, very soon. It reached GA or generally, uh, general availability uh, this last Monday, so you should see it soon. So go ahead and update your devices. So right. So I am remotely connected to my uh, TAP scheduler. I'll show you how I did that in another video upcoming soon. But for now, what you want to do is you know, just kind of look at the TAP scheduler and notice that there's not a lot that's different. Uh, what I could do is actually walk up and reserve the room. I can choose an end time and press reserve. What that does is it actually schedules a... Uh, just a Teams meeting, an empty Teams meeting, and it will uh, show up on the uh, Microsoft Teams room touch console and front of room display inside the room. Uh, what you do, do then is go in and press join, and, and then you have to call people from outside. With this new feature, uh, we're going to have some improvements upon that. So the first thing you want to do is, once the update is actually installed, go down to settings, then device settings, admin settings, and go ahead and log in. All right, so once you're inside of device settings, you press system, then Teams admin settings, then go down to meetings. So what you'll see down here is allow room re reservations by QR code. So if I toggle that to on and press back, back again. Right, you can see I've got a QR code on the front of room display. Really, really, really cool. So now what I want to do is show you uh, how to use it. So what I can do from now is I'm just going to open up the camera. You can see I've got a view of the scheduler. Then I can just press that. So what happens is it opens up the Teams uh, application on your mobile, so either Android or iOS. And then down the bottom here, you can see I can schedule a new meeting or reserve for existing meeting. So what this does is if I press schedule a new meeting, I can say testing QR codes and then press done. So what that's done is actually scheduled a new meeting from me and adding this existing room into the, the meeting. So if I just refresh there, you can see it's just shown up there. So that was scheduling room for a brand new meeting. What I can do as well is actually schedule for an existing meeting. So if I just repeat the step, tap on the QR code, and then reserve for an existing meeting. You can see I've got a list of all my existing meetings here, uh, and this one is uh, craftily called existing meeting for QR code. Now if I press reserve, you can see it's inviting invitation sent. And again, if I go ahead and refresh that there, you can see I've got that listed there as existing meeting. Right, so I think you'll agree this update is very, very cool. It's a huge improvement on the existing workflow of just reserving the room as an anonymous kind of uh, empty Teams meeting. It means that you're in control. You can do this all from your mobile phone uh, and either schedule a new meeting and add the room, but do it as you. It just means that you're in control. It's your meeting when you schedule it. Uh, either existing or new meeting, and you're in control of adding new attendees and all that sort of thing. You could do it before the meeting even starts. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you this time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.